Welcome to SNN. Today is April 12th, 2011. Today is a sky day, which means star periods 1, 3, and 5. Google looks amazing today. Take a look. It's all spacey looking. That's because today marks the 50th anniversary of the first human space flight. 50 years? On this day in 1961, cosmonaut Yuri Gagarin was the first human in space. How long did it take? He made his historic journey aboard the Vostok 1, and it took 89 minutes for his spaceship to make one trip around the Earth. Did he control the capsule? No, it was controlled by the Soviet Control Center on the ground, and it landed safely in a field near Saratov. But I thought Neil Armstrong was the first. Nope. But get this, when Neil Armstrong and Edwin Algen reached the moon in 1969, they carried with them one of Gagarin's medals to leave behind as a tribute to the world's first human in space. Why didn't he go back to the moon? Well, sadly, Gagarin had died a year earlier when a jet he was piloting during a routine training flight crashed. Back to the Google page. Yeah, you should check it out, not only for the amazing artwork and animation, but when you click on it, you'll see loads of links to information about space. Know what else you should Google? What? Satya Hariharan. Of course. This is great news, everyone. Listen up. Remember when Satya won our Geographic B building competition? Since then, he has gone on to compete in Washington State level of the competition. Friday, April 1st, he participated in the Washington State level of the 2011 National Geographic Bee Competition, held at Pacific Lutheran University in Tacoma. The competition included 100 4th to 8th graders from across the state. Through many rounds of elimination, the competitors were reduced to 10, and then narrowed to three finalists, which included Satya. The three finalists competed in four rigorous rounds of difficult geographic questions. Satya walked away victorious with the third place for Washington State. He received a $50 reward as well as a complete National Geographic on DVD, which includes every issue since 1888. Let's put our hands together for Satya. Great job, Satya. Your performance at representing us here at Scourge is outstanding. So Satya, do you have any ideas on what you're going to do with your winnings? Mm, not really. Okay, well, get back to us on it. We're really excited to hear. Today's thought is about planet Earth. Cosmonaut Yuri Gargan said while orbiting the planet, I see Earth. It is so beautiful. We're going to use that quote to challenge one another to make Earth-friendly choices. That means between now and Earth Day, which is April 22nd, we'll highlight some Earth-friendly advice. After 40 years, Earth Day has organized itself into 77,862,183 people having pledged to do their part to help planet Earth. This year, Earth Day 2011 is being organized around the theme of A Billion Acts of Green, which encourages individuals to live and act sustainably. An example close to home. Right here in our own school, in fact. It has to do with printing. Every day, we all waste sheet after sheet of paper because we aren't printing responsibly. You should know how to print, know where to print, and be sure to pick up your print job. We're busy making some videos for you to highlight exactly what that means, but let's make printing responsibly the first task. Have a green tip of your own to share? Put it in the basket between now and then, and well, we could do this for the whole month of April, right? Write it down with your name and we'll share it on the air. Be sure to write your name. <laughs> That's it for the news today. Have a terrific Tuesday and follow the sky code. Be safe, be respectful, and be responsible. This has been Acacia and Nicole. At this time, please stand for the pledge. Ready, begin.